Kinematic analysis of a mechanical system. Kinematic analysis consists of position, velocity, and acceleration analysis. The position analysis solves the position level constraints by using Newton's method. Newton's method is a numerical procedure solving a system of nonlinear equations. The velocity level constraints are then solved to get the velocities. It is important to know that the velocity level constraints are linear in terms of the velocities because the positions are already known from the earlier position analysis. Similarly, the accelerations are obtained from the acceleration level constraints. Singular configuration. A mechanical system cannot move or may have two paths at a bifurcation point. We call these positions as a singular configuration. The singular configurations can be detected by monitoring the Jacobian matrix of the constraint equations. If the Jacobian matrix does not have a full rank, the position is the singular configuration position. Redundant constraints. Also, another form of singularity is encountered for a redundant system. The redundant system is often occurred due to modeling method. As an example, in this five bar mechanism, the middle bar is not necessary kinematically. This can be shown with the constraint equation and its Jacobian matrix as follows. The constraints can be obtained as in this equation and its Jacobian as follows. If you do this row operation, the resulting row becomes zero. This shows that the row are linearly dependent. Therefore, the redundant constraints can be detected by checking the linear dependency of the rows of a Jacobian matrix. Euler angle. A reference frame in space can be used to monitor the orientation of a body. Suppose a unit vectors along x prime, y prime, and z prime axis are f, g, and h vectors. Orientation matrix can be represented by matrix A as follows. It is important to know that orientation matrix comprise of f, g, and h vectors. Since f, g, and h vectors are unit orthogonal vectors, it has the orthogonal property like this. Euler angle is one way to express the orientation matrix. It is three sequential rotation angles with respect to the z, x prime, z double prime axis. Therefore, the orientation matrix can be obtained by three sequential matrix multiplications. The angular velocity of a body can be represented by adding up contributions of time derivatives of the three oil angles. Since the first angle is parallel to the global z-axis, the time derivative of the first oil angle contributes directly to the z-axis of the global frame. Since the time derivative of the second oil angle is in the x prime, y prime, z prime frame, its contribution must be transformed by the first oil angle. Since the time derivative of the third oil angle is in the x double prime, y double prime, z double prime frame, it must be transformed by the first and second oil angles. By adding up all the contributions, the angular velocity of a body in the global frame is obtained as follows. With a given time derivative of oil angle, the angular velocity can be always obtained by this equation. The time derivative Euler oil angle can be obtained by inverting the matrix. However, the inverse of the matrix may not exist as some singular configuration. We call it singularity of the oil angle. The singularity can be avoided by using different oil angle or constant shift of the one of the Euler angle. However, it is better to use four Euler parameters to remove the fundamental difficulty.